Hello makers, welcome to 3D Maker Noob. I'm Joe and today I'm going to show you how to set up the bed leveling on the ANET A8 with Skynet firmware. Stick around! Welcome back makers. So as promised in the last episode uh, in the ANET A8 upgrade saga, I promised you that I would show you how to actually uh, set up the bed leveling sensor. Now I know I left you on a bit of a cliffhanger, but it would have taken too long for me to do all the information in one go. The, the episode would have just taken too long and you guys would have been bored. So I wanted to section it off. Now, hopefully with this, bed leveling sensor and the setup, the uh, days of adjusting the bed manually will be few and far between. Now, I am sure there are many other ways to set up the sensor other than the one I'm doing now. And I'm sure many of you will bring it up in the comment section as you always do, which I really don't mind. But one of those ways is to use Repetier or Repetier or Pronterface. However, I've come across many people who have had many issues getting the PC to recognize the printer or having issues getting the printer or uh, to be recognized by Repet Repetier, Repetier, I still don't know how you're supposed to pronounce that, <laughs> or Pronterface. Um, or any other slicer for that matter. And that's exactly the same problem I had when I had my Tronxy or Tron XY for some. So after fiddling through the menu, I uh, figured out how to set it up from there without the need to connect it to anything. And it stuck with me, which is how I will set up the ANET as well. Now I'm gonna try to do this as easily as possible. I'm going to I'm going to do it in 10 steps just so it's much easier to follow the process. So, let's get to it. Step 1. Turn the printer on and make sure the bed level sensor is working. You do this by simply passing a metal object close to the bottom of the sensor and it should light up. Also, make sure that the sensor is positioned all the way down in the screw slots. Step two. Now go in the menu of the ANET, click on the center button, click on prepare, and then click on auto home. This should move the head to the center of the build plate and level the height. Step three. When it's done homing, slightly undo the screws that hold the sensor in place and push it all the way up and tighten the bolt slightly just so that the sensor stays out of the way while you um, calibrate the nozzle manually. Step four, place a piece of paper on the bed under the nozzle. Following that, Turn both lead screws by hand at the same time slowly counterclockwise. You want to do this so that the nozzle moves downwards and slightly touches the bed and creates a bit of friction between the nozzle and the paper. Step 5. You will want to make sure that both ends of the X axes are aligned. So what you're going to need to do is measure the distance of the lower linear rod of the z-axis on the left along with the base of the printer. We are going to make sure that both end stops of the uh, x-axis are aligned. So once you measure the one on the left, measure the one on the right, and if they are not aligned, simply turn one of the lead screws slowly until both reach the same height, well, as close to perfect as possible. Step six. What you're going to do now is slowly start moving the sensor position. You're going to want to undo the screws and start moving the sensor closer to the bed. And you should do so until it goes past the point of activation. Now, the point of activation is that moment that the light comes on on the sensor as you move it closer to a metal object. Once 
it goes on, push it a bit further down, about one millimeter further towards the bed. Once that happens, just screw it back tightly so it stays in position. Step seven, go to the menu and auto home the printer again by clicking on the center button, prepare and auto home. Step eight, there should be now around one millimeter gap or slightly more between the nozzle and the build plate. Now the Skynet default Z offset is set to 0.15 millimeters. The more you increase the number, the closer the nozzle gets to the bed. Seeing as there is around one millimeter in height between the nozzle and the bed, I'm gonna pace myself and just increase it by 100 microns at a time, as that would bring the uh, total to around 0.60 millimeter offset. Now you do this by clicking on the center button, click on control, then click on motion, and finally choose the offset. Increase the value and click the left button to go back. Once done, click it once more and scroll down and click on store memory. Step nine. The one last thing I tend to do is move the nozzle to the four corners of the bed and adjust the screws on the, um, on the bed itself to level manually one last time, just so that the bed is as level as possible so that the sensor doesn't have to compensate too much for uneven surface. And finally, step 10. That is pretty much the whole process. What you want to do now is to do a sample test print, maybe even a 20 by 20 cube. However, keep in mind now that you have to include the G29 code in your start script of any model that you decide to slice. This should be placed just under the G28 code, which is home all axes. Save your test print, run it. The printer will then run a nine point bed level check before printing. Now all you're going to do is simply look at the first layer of the print. If the nozzle is too far from the bed, uh, just simply stop the print. Go back to the Z offset in the menu and increase the offset. If it's too close, just simply reduce the offset distance. Now, one thing I need to point out is that the Z offset default on Skynet is 0.50 millimeters. And the firmware does not allow you to go lower than that in numbers. So if for some reason, the Z offset at 0.50 still gives you a nozzle that is too close to the bed, you will simply have to um, undo the screws on the sensor and lower, lower just a bit more, um, um, just as in step number six. And then for the rest, just compensate for the distance through the Z offset in the menu. However, this is unlikely to happen if the sensor was secured past the activation point, at least by one or two millimeters. And that's basically it. I really do hope that I didn't confuse you too much, but I felt that that was probably the easiest way I found of dealing with this bed leveling sensor. This is mainly for those that do not wish to or cannot connect the ANET to a PC or just can be bothered. If you do want a different version on how to set this up um, uh, through Pronter Face or Repetier or Repetier or Repetier, <laughs> let me know in the comment section and I will work on it. For the time being, however, I need to focus a bit on the comparison that I promised you guys between the ANET A8 and ANET A6. It's been getting very busy, so I need to schedule my um, my tasks accordingly. And I really want to get that out of the way because I really want to do much more on this printer. I really need to upgrade this to Kingdom Come. 
So thanks for watching guys. Let me know what you think. I want to give a very, very special shout out to all my awesome patrons for their support. You guys are absolutely amazing. I also want to give a huge thank you to every single one of you guys for watching um, and giving me the chance to keep on doing what I am doing, which I'm absolutely loving. Leave a comment um, in, the, uh, in the section below. Click on the like button if this tutorial helped in any way. Subscribe and share. And as always, happy making, guys.